Barry, we received your sample material and your dye in about a week and a half ago, and we just found it today, so I do apologize, first of all, for that. This material cuts just fine. Uh, however, your dye does have a lot of linear inches here. I'm not sure what the total measurement is, but, you know, our, our max is about at about 120, and with this material, it's actually a little bit less than that. Doing your test cutting, I'll, I have found that about two-thirds of the die cuts just fine. Now, you do have notches in each shape, so it doesn't cut completely through. Uh, that's by design. But the first row doesn't really cut at all. So all you have to do is actually reduce your linear inch count in order for your application to work with our press. So the way this would work, you would have your cutting board mounted to the top. You would design your die with your pattern, with your die blade on it. And I don't know if you have printed material or not, but you could put registration pins uh, within the die to actually line your material up against. But for this case, I'm simply going to lay the material on top of the die. Again, the cutting board's mounted to the top. Slide it in. And as you can see, you get nice clean cuts except for where it is notched. I'll go ahead, I'll send this cut sample material back to you as well as upload the video so you can take a look at it. Thank you.